Hello beautiful people. Today I'm going to do a gobi manchurian recipe. It's an Indian crispy snack and it is kind of Chinese, Indo-Chinese Indo kind of food. But this is a totally different food that you get in China. So let me tell you what you require. You require maida, you require egg and you also require basin. which is also called as gram flour cauliflower I have boiled this already for 10 to 15 minutes uh, do not cook it just boil it so that you remove all the insects from the cauliflower and you also require a little bit of water so to begin with just transfer all the cauliflower or gobi into a big container you can choose the size of the cauliflower as per your requirement. I am a lazy person and I usually do not have a lot of time so I cut them into kind of medium pieces but if you really like small pieces you can do that. Then I am adding adding maida and it is also called as multi-purpose. So after you add the multi-purpose flour you can also add 2 tablespoons of corn flour which is to add the crispiness to the gobi and then I am using the ground flour or the basin just 2 cups of basin into this and mix it well. I see that I should have taken a bigger container to do that. I realized it later while doing this video. So I probably going to transfer these into two parts and add more ingredients. I'm going to add two beaten eggs into it and you actually do not require a lot of water. Once you add basin and the egg, it all gets mixed up and it gets marinated very well and the cauliflower or the gobi it soaks everything into it oh my god my container is really small for the huge gobi that i chose to do today so actually i'm going to transfer half of it outside and i'm going to work with the later half of it i'm also going to add only two tablespoons of water into this because uh, it will help the basin to stick to the gobi but don't add a lot of water because you're gonna fry it later on and that will cause problems add salt to taste i prefer half a teaspoon of salt and you can add red chili powder and mix all this very well This is how the gobi looks after mixing. Yes, I used my hands because in Indian cooking you need to use your hands otherwise your spices won't get mixed into the vegetables well. And now this is ready to cook. Heat the oil in a frying deep frying pan and make sure you have half of the pan empty and half of it filled so that you can you you can cook your gobi easily. Do check your oil before cooking it. If the uh, basin or the ground floor comes easily out of the oil, that means your oil is too hot. It should take some time to come out. Now just drop the pieces one by one into the hot oil and let them cook golden brown. To see that the gobi has cooked crispy golden brown you can take it out with a frying spoon and just take them out on a tissue paper so that you can uh, that can soak all the oil from it the gobi is ready now we have to cook the uh, sauce or the gravy to make it a spicy gobi manchuri Gobi Manchuri gravy, you require a little bit of oil in a hot pan 
and you need diced onion and capsicum so I have added 4 tablespoons of oil into the pan and let it heat to a medium heat and then I'm going to add the finely chopped ginger and garlics I have used a lot of garlics and a little bit of ginger diced and sliced green chilies and onions and you also need the diced capsicum I used one big capsicum and you require soya sauce so I've taken half cup of the soya sauce and I also use tomato ketchup or the tomato sauce Of by putting the onion green chilies and the ginger and garlic finely chopped into the frying pan cook it for one minute in color you can add the capsicum at this point ginger and garlic which are chopped into small pieces into this and let cook <laughs> let this cook for one to two minutes it will reduce in size it will turn golden brown you can see how it looks you can see that and you can also check it with the spoon if it is half cooked when you see that it's half cooked you can add soya sauce at this point and you can have the little bit pinch of salt at this point but you do not require to add a lot of salt because soya sauce itself has a lot of flavor and we have already added a little bit of salt on the gobi when we were frying it so you just need to add soya sauce and the tomato ketchup at this point and mix it well and let this cook for another five minutes before you add the gobi into this Finally add your fried gobi into this gravy and you are done just mix it well let it heat in the covered container or the open container or the vessel for another one minute and mix it well your gobi manchurian is ready. how your gobi looks finally after two minutes it is yummy crispy tastes so good and it's a very healthy ready to eat snack you can enjoy it at the evening times or as a side dish with the Indian dishes I hope you guys enjoyed this gobi manchurian uh, tutorial I know I was not too perfect because I have just planned to film it while randomly cooking Thank you so much for watching if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up as well as do subscribe to my channel and stay connected thank you for watching bye